or a specimen F, G, and H. A specimen F is carrots, G is Irish potato, H is a water lily. Okay, quickly we dive into this. You look at this, you find out that there are different aspects of um, roots here. You have the lateral roots, tap roots, and root of the leaf. Okay. Lateral root from the side, tap root from the tip, and then roots from the area of the leaf. Okay. You will now see that the carrot appears to be a red fruit. Yes, what substance responsible for the red color of this fruit is like copine or bitter carotene. And the chemical name for carrot is bitter. Bitter carotene. Bitter carotene has a chemical name. You can ask that is this chemical, which is a form of lycopene, is responsible for the red coloration of the fruits. Okay, the economic importance of this fruit on the body, say examiner asks such question. This fruit is an antioxidant. An antioxidant. There are some clear cases of biological oxidation that goes on in the free radicals. So this helps to neutralize the free radicalization of some food that it so this acts as a an, an antioxidant alongside with tomato and other red fruits. Remember, the substance responsible for the red color is beta carotene or lycopene in carrots. You are going to ask to smell this carrot in the paper to see if you can see if there is any food class like fat and oil. If you smell it, there is no transmission mark to show that fat and oil is absent from carrot. So this is a vegetable, the class of this Carrot. Carrot Car Car is a plant that is that is classified as a vegetable. So its classification is, is vegetable. It grows into a tuber. So it's a tuber vegetable or vegetable tuber. As the case may be, it's an antioxidant that's based on its economic eh, importance. It's very good in reducing free biological radicals from the food that contains this radical we eat. So that is on specimen F. Irish potato. Irish potato is also um, um, another specimen, but we're not going to talk about much on Irish potato. Examiner is just going to ask you identify Irish potato. Nobody can identify potato from Irish potato. Okay, so Irish potato is specimen G. Okay, what's food? It's also a tuba. It's also it's another similarity between these two. It is a tuba. This is this is a vegetable, but this is a tuber. But the aspect of tuber here, this is a tuber crop, not a vegetable. This is tuber crop, but this is just a vegetable, but it's also a vegetable tuber. A tuber crop, vegetable. This one, um, food classes carbohydrates. Food class here is vitamins. Uh, this food class in carrots is vitamins. Food class here is carbohydrates, just like other potato, you know. Okay, we'll go straight to specimen H, water lily. Water lily is a hydrophyte. Take notes. Three aspects of plant in terms of habitats. Xerophytes, hydrophytes, and mesophytes. This is hydrophytes. What do I mean by hydrophytes? What do I mean by hydrophytes is a water plant. That's why name water lily. It's a type of plant that floats on water. You will not see it's rhizome or rhizoid is, is submerged in water and the leaf floats but for this set of plant to survive in water the roots must be poorly developed yes they must have a poor developed uh, root system okay since um, they are being predominantly covered with uh, water so they are aquatic plants but they are not aquatic unicellular plants, they are aquatic monocellular plants. So basically, they are hydrophytes. Okay, now, looking at carrots, Irish potato, and the uh, water. In terms of types, types, hydrophytes, xerophytes, and mesophytes. 
The mesophyte is in between the herophytes and the mesophytes. Okay, this is extremely dry, extremely aquatic. This is extremely dry, no aquatic. So all these specimen F, G, H, in terms of their habitat nature, specimen F is a mesophyte plant. Irish potato is also mesophyte. Water lily is hydrophyte. Please take note of this important fact. Specimen F is mesophyte. Specimen G is mesophyte. Specimen H is what? Hydrophytes. Okay, please take notes of this F, G, and H. Now, we're also going to look at the classification of this F, G, and H. Okay, all of them are plants, so they all belong to kingdom. It's planting division. All of them belong to the same division. They are all vascular plants, so they are trachyphytes. Trachyphyta. Vas plant with vascular system, vascular bundle, and then this is tubular. This is tubular. This is also this is grow like two. This so basically they're going to belong to the same aspects of class, which is tuber, tuber crop, tuber crop, tuber plant. That's really their class. But the class which water lily belongs to is going to be a hydrophyte. That is aquatic plant. So they all are plant here, they all are trachyphytes, even though water lily has poor system for conducting water, but still a trachyphyte. But when it comes in terms of class, water lily belongs to hydrophytes. Uh, uh, sorry, water lily belongs to hydrophytes, the rest to belong to what? Mesophytes. That can come into their, under their classes and then talking about subclass. So that's it. In terms of economic importance, a, F and G are of economic importance because they are all food crop. They are food crop, both carrots and then uh, Irish potato. Uh, water lily also is also a food crop. They can also be classified together with water lettuce, uh, water lettuce, uh, what do you call this? Um, water lettuce, uh, watermelon, all these aspects are also classified as vegetables. So these two are classified as tubers. This is also classified as vegetable alongside. Sorry, carrot is vegetables. Vegetables. Arimito are tubers, but you can call carrot a vegetable tuber or tuber vegetables. Water lily, water lily is also classified as a vegetables. Take it. Take it. And also their class. Food here you obtain from carrot is vitamins. Obtain carbohydrate from here. Obtain roughages from water lily. Plus other class of hydrophyte plants, water lily, watermelon, water lettuce, all comes under that specimen H. Okay, now we're gonna wrap this video with the last specimen, IJK and then L.